Okay, what's going on, YouTube? I wanted to do this for a quick comparison, really quick, since I had all of them out. Now, um, a lot of you guys know, and this was kind of a, a big topic a couple years back. Um, a lot of people have kind of figured it out now, but there's still some questions out there on it, and I just wanted to make a video to be clear on it. So if you look at like HRG's kits or other kits, you know, um, down at the bottom, they say something similar along the lines. I'm, I, I don't know it word for word, but results may vary, different things, you know, um, the way that your kit works. Um, so for instance, when I had the four inch lift kit, I actually had to go down in spacer size because I had these TRQs on there that were actually longer in the front. Uh, the rear, pretty much the same as the O'Ready's. I don't have the OEMs. Now the OEMs, I'm assuming, will probably be a smidge, maybe shorter, just because of age and use and times like that. I haven't pulled them off the uh, CRV back there yet. I'm getting ready to, uh, probably later on tonight. But your main concern, the rear is not gonna be that much of a difference. And HRG uh, sells uh, shims that you can put on top, which are kind of nice if you want to make small adjustments and things like that. But with the nowadays with the new kit, I believe you get the three and a half inch spacer for the rear. Uh, if I believe right, don't quote me right now because I don't have the paperwork in front of me. Uh, you can go on the site yourself, hrgoffroad.com and take a look. Um, and then of course this middle spacer has an old inch uh, spacer on the front. Um, but I'm going off of the top hat straight here. So what we're putting on is these new already struts, which are Pretty good struts uh, from the design. Now their longevity, I don't know. I haven't used them before. Um, I have heard good things about them. I haven't heard any bad stuff uh, on them really uh, for an affordable spring. Um, he bought these off me. I was gonna originally put these on, uh, but I ended up going with the flat out suspension um, along with my lift kit that I'll be doing on my, my 99 that you guys seen the, the white one. Um, but these TRQs are what I used to run on this 99 and what I then switched over to my 2000. Uh, I can't say anything bad about the TRQs as far as ride quality. In fact, they rode amazing and flexed amazing and did very good for the off-road application of it being lifted. And I was very impressed with them. The only thing, however, I wasn't impressed as you look, the rear are exactly the same, pretty much the same. The only difference I would say is the Oredis have been used. They have settled a little bit. The TRQs have not. The TRQ spring rate, I'm not sure what it is, but it is definitely firm, but it but it's soft at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It flex very well, um, but it, it, it's it got a lot of pressure on the sucker when you're trying to you know get them in and it, it stays. I mean, look, that's got three, four years of abuse on it and they still look pretty decent. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not saying anything bad if you guys are running TRQ at all. Um, I recommended them at one time. And uh, the only reason I don't recommend them now is if you look the front, I had to beat the hell out of this thing to get it to fit in there. And it is actually, you do have the little tabs there. Um, you don't have the kind of rounded edge in the way it is on the OEM strut and on the already strut, these have the tabs underneath too. Um, you wanna look for, if you're going with any type of aftermarket strut, you do wanna look for uh, the tabs. There is some that do not have those tabs and I've seen them, people going off road and the, the fork, the suspension fork has jammed way up the strut. So that is not something you wanna do. Um, and you definitely want to make sure, you know, of course, it, it also goes with the installation. And there's plenty of videos on how to install your struts and springs. Um, if you guys need one, I can I can do that with this too. Um, I'm probably going to do it in a full video anyways with it. But uh, there's a ton of breakdowns out there for you right now. Okay, so getting back to what I was saying. Here's what I'm talking about. So the rear is pretty much the same. Don't really have too much to worry about in the rear there. I'm going to get in the way of the camera here for a minute because again this is a pain in the ass to do with one hand so we're going to start with the middle strut here at the very top of the top hat the best i can do with one hand and you're going to see this is just slightly with the very if you count in the bottom exactly very uh bottom there a little bit above 18 and a half inches then you come over to the already strut 
that is actually probably right around 18 actually shorter than 18 and a half just a little bit shorter so that's actually a little bit shorter which the spring and the top hat are all the same just the shaft down the bottom is a little bit shorter which might make it a little bit easier there when you're especially putting in the lift uh, if you don't have if you're using spacers and you don't have sub rim drop definitely gonna be a bit easier with these um, here's why this was such a pain in the ass with the TRQ I'm at the top hat so you guys see I'm not cheating there if I can get it to stick okay you guys can see that 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 is pretty much almost right at 19 inches um, if I steadied it it would be close so what I'm trying to say here to kind of finalize up is I have nothing against TRQ. TRQ were great, and in fact, I recommended them. Uh, they were on my 99 and on my 2000. They, they still are in good shape, uh, other than beat, beating up down here, but as far as ride quality goes. And ride quality was amazing, guys. They really were good at, at flexing, riding, everything. There's just so much uh, tension on the spring. I, I don't know how to explain how it rode so good and, and flex well. But actually, you still at the same time has so much tension on the spring. You can see they're kind of like bending out to the side uh, compared to the O-Readies and the, the OEMs. Um, the pain in the ass, the reason why I don't recommend them anymore is because of this. The, the, the longer front is going to make such a pain in the ass for trying to fit your springs on even with just some top hat spacers and not having a subframe drop is going to be a pain in the ass. With a subframe drop, it still was a pain in the ass, I will tell you. Um, so, I do not recommend these again, unless you want to go through the struggle. And it's something you're not going to be taking apart quite a bit. Uh, they do ride amazing. Already, I do not know how they ride. It's the first time we're using them. I've heard good things on them, like I was saying. Uh, but fitment-wise and closer to OEM mock-up, definitely a uh, better strut from the way it looks. Uh, and it comes all brand new hardware, everything. Uh, they seem like very good, uh, a good choice. Uh, I will let you know more when he's riding on them. Um, again, it's going on the 98 back there. And we will see. But already, I can tell you that as far as installing goes, these are a much better choice if you don't have a subframe drop. Uh, and even if you do have a subframe drop, it's just going to make life a lot easier. So just wanted to kind of clarify that. Again, sorry, I don't have the rear strut out yet, but again, the rear strut's pretty much going to be the same. Maybe a little bit more compressed because of the mileage and the time on it. Uh, but I just kind of want to do that mainly for the front because the front is the part that a lot of people struggle with on having the issue fitting it into the uh, strut fork while trying to get all the suspension lined up. And TRQ struts, definitely going to be about an extra almost depending on what strut you had on the vehicle at the time is going to be close to a, it's going to be a half inch longer to close to an inch longer depending on what you had i hope that kind of helps guys and why i'm recommending these already struts or something similar i know the monroe struts are very similar from what i understand and uh if you're going with a, a strut and spring combo an oem style so just wanted to go over this and hopefully this helps some people out all right